Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial, and this time with a spike trap. And that thing is being used in games like Spelunky, Heroes of Hammer Watch, Dead Cells, and so on. And for example, you just step on that thing, it reacts to it, it reacts to it, and then whoop, it goes up. And then it has like specific AI stages between like idle, then attacking, then retracting slowly, then resetting the trap because that's a common thing a lot of times too, and then being idle and then you can re-trigger. So stay tuned if you want to know how to do that. This is Warner Bindi, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So let's get right into the good stuff and let's put that layer up so you can actually see what's going on. So for, for that I have just two sprites, one is these spikes and then this plate. And here I have only two sounds which is the clicking sound, now that's the when it's going up. And then once you uh, trigger the plate it just gives you this indication sound that something is going on. And let's go right into our first thing, which is the spike. I call it just spike, base or whatever, but that's just the trigger plate. You put it there and then you create one of those well, spikes here, which are those um, spears or spikes or whatever you want to call it. And so you create one of those and store their AI in, in this variable. Why do you need that? Well, because you have a collision and when you have a collision with your player and its AI state of the, of the spikes is idle, then you do something. And the AI is basically a variable which um, just goes cycles through different kind of states. So it's basically a state machine. And then once it hits a specific point, well, it just cycles through them. So first of all it's idle, then if it is idle and you have a collision with the player, you play a sound, which is the trigger sound I just showed you. Then the plate says to the spike it's created already, your AI is now prepared to attack. Why prepare to attack? Because a lot of times you give the player a short window so um, he doesn't uh, well, get attacked immediately, which would be quite unfair. A lot of games just do that, they just do the click sound and then wait, wait, wait and bam, an attack. That is exactly what it's been doing. And then I have a draw event, but you can completely ignore that if you like. This is just uh, cycling, uh, well, drawing the text of the well, spikes we are drawing and it's AI, so it's state machine, so you could, so you, well, you can see what kind of states you are going through. So once again, to recap, very, very briefly, I put that in front so you can see how this actually looks like. This is normally behind, well, those tiles here. Idle, you prepare the attack, you attack. With the attack is like the shortest thing, then you retract slowly, then you kind of reload the trap, and then, well, it sets it to idle. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. So, but, well, the base or the plate to step on we already covered so let's get right into the meat of the trap spikes and here there are a few things so first of all i have again an ease function yeah i know an ease function great um and there and that is only used for the going upward so the movement feels like a smoother so this is that part. And here we have our state machine with different states. First prepare, then attack, then retract, then you set the trap. And then here is the actual action going on. We have our Y value, which is the only thing which is actually changing there. And it has a start value, which we store. And then we have the move thing, which is being used once for the going up with the ease function. And once used with the retraction phase, which is, uh, come on, where are you here? And that I'm gonna show you now. So basically, I have my ease function, and because, well, it's an upward movement, my destination is not the plus value, but the minus 48, because I guess 
the whole spears are like 48 pixels too, something like that. And we do that with a very very brief duration, which is one fourth of a second. And then we just use well this little variable to go up and to go down. And with that, well, we put that again in context with our start position, which we just store once, and then use it well to go up and go down. So the Y will never really change um, too much. So basically, you just have like a fixed start position, fixed up position, and the fixed well going back uh, words movement. And then the AI, which is just this little variable, but it could you could call it state or whatever you like. It's basically the same. And then we have two timers. First of all, the delay timer, which I put in here. So once uh, the trap has been strung, it starts while well, preparing for an attack, and then it attacks. And this is for the last um, phase of the AI, so to reload or just to well reset the trap. So let's get right through the stuff. So first of all, what are we doing? First of all. We trigger the trap and then we are in prepare attack. We just run down this little timer. And once this timer is like down, we just say alrighty, uh, well, we set that timer and jump to our next AI, which is this one. And then we play this little uh, trap whoosh sound. So it's going up because now we are in our attack AI state. And then we say start eating. Why is what is that? Basically, this is just um, a trigger thingy. So it says, all right, now you can do the easing because uh, from start it is disabled because it's for. Then it's starting easing, so it just goes up here. And then because it's uh, well an ease function, you have a timer. And once the timer reaches its well end point, we say all right. We are at our top point, which we want to have. Then we go to our next AI. And then, of course, we don't want to well continue the easing function. That's why we reset it so it's on false again. So we are on retract now. And when we are on retract now, we are on our top point. And that's why we need to move downwards again. And that we do with a slow linear movement. So we don't need an ease function here. And once we uh, well, we hit our original point because we're just going down, 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 and at some point we are hitting our original point of uh, the Y value. Then we fail to save it, say, all right, our Y is um, our original point again, and we jump to the next AI. And then, well, you put the move to zero. It is already on zero, but it's a fail save, so you don't have to do that. And then we are on our last AI point. And for that I have my second timer, the reload trap timer. And then once again, once it hits uh, at zero, we reset everything we want to reset. First of all, well, the reload timer of uh, the last point and then our ease function because we haven't reset it for now. We can of course reset it, I don't know, for example at this point, but well, I just did it here. And then we want to jump to our first idle position and then we can well, start the cycle all over again and that was basically it. This is how you can do it and just put it back into its position where it's supposed to be and that is basically it. So, and wham there it is. So that was it. Hopefully that was uh, of interest to you. And a little thing, um, I'm just curious, there's the games come in like two days and it's uh, well completely near me, I could visit it, but my past experience with the games come are kind of mixed. And to be honest, that thing is uh, too commercial, too crowded, and it's not fun to go there anymore, and a lot of things, to be honest. Do you have to wait three hours to play the newest Call of Duty or something? I don't know, maybe you have a different mind on that. So, write down in the comment below. Have a good one. One up indie.